AWS Autoscaling is a service provided by Amazon Web Services that allows you to automatically adjust the number of Amazon EC2 instances or other resources in response to the demand for your applications. It helps ensure that you have the right amount of computing power available at any given time, improving both cost efficiency, uh, application performance. So we will dive deeper into it. Uh, stay tuned with me and make sure you subscribe. Although scaling in AWS refers to the ability to automatically adjust the number of instances uh, or the EC2 instances up or down based on the current demand or traffic, uh, this ensures optimal performance and cost efficiency. So let's take a look at some key points about auto scaling. Uh, it is dynamic in nature. So auto scaling dynamically increases or decreases the number of EC2 instances based on specific conditions or triggers and this allows the systems to handle varying levels of traffic without manual interventions. It is also cost efficiency. By automatically reducing the number of instances when demand is low, auto scaling helps save costs. When demand increases, additional instances are launched to maintain performance. Let's take a look at some types of auto scaling. Auto scaling group ASG. This group contains configuration details of your AC2 instance, such as uh, Amazon Machine Image, uh, Virtual Private Cloud, uh, which is a subnet, and all the parameters. And uh, the auto scaling group ensures desired number of instances are running at all time. And we also have auto scaling policies. These are rules that define how and when to scale your instances. And policies are based on metrics like CPU utilization or target values. And let's take a look some benefit of auto scaling. Improved availability, availability uh, ensures that application remain available and can handle increased load by automatically adding instances when needed. And then it also optimizes performance, uh, maintain performance by scaling out adding instances or during high demand and scaling in removing instances when demand decreases and it's also cost management reduces op op operational cost by terminating instances that are not needed during low traffic period so by configuring auto scaling in aws you can maintain a balance between cost and performance ensuring that your application are always available and responsible and responsive to the current demand so let's go into our console and click EC2. And once we are in our console, we will go ahead and click on our instances. And then we'll go launch instance. Then we, let's give it our instance a name. So let's name this ARSG. And then we'll click on the windows. And we will go all the way down to make sure we get our keeper and then we go down and launch instance and give it a few minutes for it to launch once we have we can view all instances and we can see ASG created and we'll click it and then we'll go to um, security and then we'll click on our security globe so now we're in security globe we're going to act uh, we'll go to instances again and then click on ASG and go to actions and then go to security and then let's refresh it
So let's go to action and then go to security, change password, security group, and then we'll click on uh, add in our security group that we just created. And then we'll go to save. Now let's go directly to the security groups. It's not required, so we'll select it and try to go ahead and uh, delete them. Let's go to the ASG and then let's go to RPD client, download the client report and then save it. Set the RBP file. Then open the RDP file. Get the password. Decrypt the password. Now that we have the decryption, we we'll go ahead and copy the password and then connect I'll we'll paste our password and then we we'll click yes so that we can access our virtual machine So now we can see our virtual machine is up. Look, okay, refresh it. So we go to server manager. And let's give it some time for the server manager to load. Once we have our server manager, we'll click on add roles and features. And then we'll click next, next, then web server, and then add feature, and then next, and then install.
So this will take four minutes, um, three to four minutes. So let's give it some time to finish installing. Then we can close this. Then we will minimize and check the public IP, copy the public ID and then paste it onto our browser. And then you can see we will have, we have our web server. Now we can go to action and go to image, create image and we'll name it. So let's say uh, we're going to name this AMI and then we'll click enable and then create our image. After creating the backup image, we can go ahead and create our auto scale. So now we'll go to the AMI and then we'll wait. So you see how AMI is created. So we have to give it one to two minutes. Then we check now it's available. So launch template. And then we will create our template. And then we'll give it our template name. So here's G. And then provide guidance to help me. And then uh, we'll go my AMI we already created. So click on the AMI that we created. And then we'll scroll down and in the instant type. You can click the instant insta type that you want. And then we'll select our key pair. And then let's create a security group that we also created. And then we will create or uh, launch our template template has been created so we view our template after we can go ahead and auto auto scaling groups and then create auto scaling group and then we can go ahead and name the name so we can name it ASG and then after we will have created a temple and then we'll go next by network available zones so we selected all the available zones because we don't know where the instance is going to be created from so we go next so we don't want to create any low balance health checks to be enabled by default security 300 cycles then go nurse. This is capacity two. Minimum we can add three, maximum three. And then automatically scale and optional. Auto scam is optional. So target and then we go to metrics type with the CPU. So we target by it's eighty percent and then we scroll down and go next. 
we'll go next and then next and then create our auto scaling group when it's creating we can go ahead and check so we'll go to EC2 click on the EC2 again and once we are on our EC2 we go to our instances so you will see a minimum two of several will be created so let's give it some time and then refresh and then wait for one minute or two and you'll see your instance has been created The refresh anytime I see two instances have already been created. So it's, as you can see, it's creating two more instances. So that's how we use auto scale to be able to create instances. 